Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video segment, we're going to talk about adding comments to a Google Doc, Sheet, or Slide to be able to collaborate and interact with others. So when we're looking at getting started, you have to have the document open and your content added to the document, and then you're going to need to share the document out with anyone who you would like to gather their feedback. So if I go to the blue share icon in the top right hand corner of the screen, I'm going to click on share and I'm going to go in and add this with Justin and with Mark and I'm going to decide whether they can just uh, edit, can only comment or only view the document. I'm going to say let's just let these guys comment in this document. We might edit it later together but we're going to comment and I'm not going to send them an email. We're going to do this in person and I'm going to tell them about it so no email and then when I click on OK it says are you sure you want to skip sending an email invitation and I say yes. Now this document is an awesome document about Google developing smart contact lenses um, to help diabetics monitor their blood sugar levels and I think that is just intriguing and so I'm going to find a part of the article that really hit home with me and I'm going to highlight it and then come up to the menu bar the top of the screen and click on insert and comment and a little comment window with my name is going to come up on the right hand side and I'm going to say this is a great health benefit and I'm going to comment. Now I forgot to put in an ending punctuation. I can go back at any time with the three dotted menu uh, here and when I click on it I can delete this comment, start totally over, or I can edit it and go back in and put uh, punctuation. And when I save it, it, it saves. Now Justin or Mark could come in at this time and add any comments that they would like right underneath mine and so you would see a conversation going of something I've said and they've said um, beneath or we can come in and they can find another part of the article that interests them and make a comment and theirs will pop up here um, the same way. Now when we're finished with this we can have a uh, everyone's comments over on the side. You can print the article, however the comments won't be printed. But if you leave and leave the document, everything's going to be saved. When you come back in the next time, you'll still be able to see the comments over on the right. Now as we're working, there might be something that I want to direct a specific question to a person. So I'm going to highlight uh, this part of the document and go back to insert and comment. And I might want to direct this specific part to Justin, and I'm going to put a plus sign, and then Justin, uh, his Google account in here, and then I'm going to say, what do you think about this? And I've just added a specific question to Justin, and he'll actually get an email with that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on comment, and Justin will know that there is a specific question to him. Now when we're finished, we think we have everything figured out. We might have decided how we're going to edit this document. We can resolve this comment and say we're done with this. We've, we've figured it out and you notice it goes away. Didn't really delete it. I just said it's resolved. I can come back at any time. It comments in the top right hand corner of the screen and see what's been resolved. I can reopen it or I can comment right here uh, within the comments area even though it's been resolved. Another part you might want to take note of is notifications and that is found again right under comments and notifications and it says we're going to notify you for every uh, comment that is put in this document so you'll get an email or a notification or you could set it to only let you know if someone replies to your comment or you can say I don't want comments uh, at all to be notified and I don't want an email on it so you have some control over that as well. This is a great tool for teachers and students but a great way to have some quick professional development around a current common topic. So if you have any questions let me know. Thanks!